I'm very touched to be here with you. We have been fighting, my husband and I have been fighting this fight for the Falun Gong for many, many years. And now that he's gone and I'm retired, I'm still continuing in every way I can through our foundation, through the Lantos Foundation, to bring this major outrageous injustice prevalent in the world to the attention of that world. I am actually here to deliver my daughter's speech to you, Dr. Kent, Dr. Katrina Lantos-Svet, who is now the director of the Lantos Foundation, as well as the chairman of the U.S. Commission on Religious Freedom and Human Rights around the world. Her remarks, of course, represent totally my views. For as you know, my husband, the late Congressman Tom Lantos, and I were among the first to take up the cause of the Falun Gong in Congress. And I shall never forget the first major rally in Washington combined with those wonderful exercises on the mall in which I participated and which made such a great impact on DC and the world many, many years ago. I congratulate you for continuing and persevering in this very important message of peace and salvation to the Chinese people as well as the world. Now here is for Dr. Katrina lantos Svet's message for you today. It has always been a mystery to the rest of the world that the Chinese government would target this traditional spiritual practice of the Buddha school with their gentle meditative exercises and moral philosophy that emphasizes compassion, truth, tolerance. The Falun Gong are truly model citizens in every community in which they live. At one time, this faith community was actually welcomed by the Chinese authorities for their morality and ethics. But as the Falun Gong grew in popularity, with as many as 70 million practitioners today, the Chinese authorities grew fearful that this spiritual movement represents a threat to the Communist Party's monopoly over the hearts and minds of the Chinese people. Motivated by fear, in July of 2009, the Chinese government launched a vicious campaign to wipe out the Falun Gong. To date, it is estimated that hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong followers have been jailed illegally, subjected to the particularly horrible practice of organ harvesting, placed in labor camps without trial, injected with drugs, and subjected to many other tortures of frightening and terrible inhumanity. These atrocities have been documented around the world and were also included in our State Department 2011 country report on human rights practices around the world. The Chinese government has used the vast resources of their propaganda machine to target Falun Gong practitioners for widespread persecution. Despite the enormous suffering they have endured, the Falun Gong have remained steadfast in their belief and committed to telling their story. They have channeled the power of the internet to create tools that have outsmarted the Chinese internet police and shared their stories with the world. Now as China faces a period of political transition, there is evidence that those who have been involved in massive human rights abuses against the Falun Gong are determined again to be succeeded by politicians who themselves have been implicated in these crimes because they want to ensure that they will have impunity for the wrongs they have done. These individuals would do well to remember the words of Martin Luther King. The arc of history is long, but it bends toward justice. 
The Lantos Foundation supports you, applauds your efforts, your determination to give voice to the voiceless so this terror and tragedy can be stopped. The Chinese government must understand that the people of the United States stand with this peaceful, tolerant faith community as they seek to enjoy the same right to exercise their beliefs, their freedom of their beliefs, as the rest of us enjoy. We will not rest until that day comes. Thank you.